So diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol are commonly used industrial solvent for manufacturing of the pharmaceutical liquid preparations. And there could be reason for using this solvent in the pharmaceutical preparations. But there was an unfortunate event occurred in almost one year back in the country called as Gambia in the Africa. And uh, almost 70 children were reported dead because of the consumption of the syrup which containing unaccepted level of the diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol. So today's discussion is going to about why diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol is tested in the liquid preparations. What is the purpose why this, uh, why this ethylene glycol and diethylene glycols are used in the pharmaceutical liquid preparations. Let us understand or begin our talk from the news which is quite old now almost more than a one year old but this makes a very important connection for this topic gambia parents fight for children in landmark trial on india syrup deaths and at least 70 children died after taking the toxic medicines and this investigation has proved that the reason behind this death is the diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol label. The similar article on the another publication was about this one that WHO calls India made cup syrup deaths in Gambia's very serious issue. So why this has happened? Is this the first time that the ethylene glycol or diethylene glycol has become the reason for the unfortunate deaths? The answer for this question is no. If you look into the history, you will find that in the 1937, for the very first time, the product which is manufactured by the Bristol that time, that is sulfonylamide elixir, sulfonylamide elixir, become the reason for almost a unfortunate deaths of 107 children. So what is the reason behind this death? Again, this was attributed to the usage of ethylene glycol for the solubilizing sulfonylamide API. So ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol was recognized as the toxic so quite almost I think 80 years ago back and still it is happening for some reason. And because of that in December 2022 the WHO or World Health Organization linked Indian made cup syrups to the acute kidney failure and deaths of around 66 children in the West African country Gambia. We just saw some news article about this issue. So WHO's laboratory analysis said the cup syrup contained unacceptable contained amount of ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol which is often used chemical for manufacturing of the pharmaceutical liquid preparations. Shortly afterward, Indian authorities shut down the company which was manufacturing this particular product. So what is the issue with ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol? So diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol are toxic substances used as industrial solvents and as a antifreeze agents that can be fatal even taken in a small amount in a particular for children. So what is the content which is acceptable according to the WHO? So the minimum safe level for human for ingested diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol are known or not known with certainty but it is generally recognized at a detection level of 0.1% for each substance can be considered as a safe for consumption. So 0.1% can be the limit for each diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol. A suitable and widely used analytical techniques to test pharmaceutical products precisely and accurately for diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol is the gas chromatography. So TLC is not the specific technique for analysis of 
these substances because TLC cannot separate out this, cannot quantify that accurately. So gas chromatography is highly recommended for analysis of ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol. So why ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol is used in the liquid preparation? Let us understand the reason behind their use. Let us begin our discussion with the usage of ethylene glycol and it is used as a solubilizing agent. Its use can improve the solubility of a certain APIs making it easier to create a stable and effective liquid formulation. The second use of ethylene glycol is the viscosity modifier. It can change the viscosity of formulations according to your need. And the third, in some cases, it also helps in improvising the preservatives enhancer proper effectiveness. In some cases, ethylene glycol can enhance the effectiveness of preservatives in formulation, helping to extend shelf life and maintain product integrity. Why diethylene glycol is used? Again, the same reason, solubilizing agent. The another reason for usage of the diethylene glycol is the humectant. Means what? It helps to retain moisture content in a preparations which can be crucial in preventing the drying out of certain formulations. It can also be called as an anti-freezing agent. So these are the reasons why ethylene glycol and diethylene glycols are used. And I think we understood what is the history behind this uh, ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol contamination? What happened in the 1937? That's the beginning of uh, understanding the ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol are not safe for consumptions until the December 2022, a very recent event happened in the Gambia. Let us know what is your view on this particular topic in the comment below. Thank you so much.